Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of us. Today, I will be discussing and demonstrating how I repair a printhead. But before um, going to the main topic of repairing a printhead, I would like to share a little backstory on how I started repairing a printhead. So um, I started repairing my own printhead last year, 2022. The machine that I am using is a converted Epson L1800 printer. Um, at first, I was very confident that I could run the machine without any problem. But after like two months of using it, a lot of problems or there are a lot of problems started to show up. Um, I did a bunch of guides on how to do cleaning and unplugging. Another things that ended up delaminating my printhead. So after what happened, um, I bought a new printhead just to continue with my DTF printing. Um, just a few weeks after I bought a new printhead, the problems showed up again. So I was very confused because I already asked some enthusiasts on how to properly operate a TTF machine. I did check the humidity and temperature. Um, I did wet cupping. I bought a separate tank just to run cleanings. I did a lot of things. Um, there were a lot of opinions facing that. I already checked the ink system. It was good, but the printhead still got nozzle plug. I uh, also tried soaking the printhead for, for like a couple of days. Well, maybe a week. But the printhead st is still plugged. Uh, also use ultrasonal cleaner. I did manual flashing. So uh, the printhead got delaminated again. So like one day I get curious if there are some people who tried repairing a printhead, uh, specifically repairing a, a delaminated printhead. Um, I did some research I also asked some people, but it was very hard finding one. Um, well, there, there are a couple of videos online, but their procedures are somehow questionable. So like one day, uh, while searching for some answers and, and sol solutions online, uh, I found a video that I thought was a promising one. So I ended up contacting the person and ask a lot of questions. Um, at first, our conversations were very great. The person gave um, some tips and pointers. That, that led me to believe to buy the tools that were needed. So uh, I bought the supplies from their online store. Um, the microscope cost around seven hundred dollars and and the adhesive cost on two hundred and fifty dollars so I waited for like two months to receive the items then after receiving the items I immediately contacted the person so we had a very lengthy conversation I followed I followed his pointers, so on and so forth, but I could not do it properly. So I contacted the person again, but later on, for for some reason, 
his answers kept on changing and slowly becoming inconsistent. Then all of a sudden, the person disappeared. So after what happened, I started doing my own studies and research. I built up theories, um, do a lot of trial and errors. I also bought a bunch of um, busted printheads just to conduct my own experiments. Then um, after like nine, nine months of um, trial and errors, I finally repaired the first printhead that is 100% um, usable. So it took me like months and, and almost a year to know how to fix a printhead. Um, I am sharing this to you guys so that if ever you want to try repairing your own printhead, uh, you will be guided ready. So I will now be explaining the steps, the tools, and, and equipment that are necessary. Um, the equipment that is necessary to have is a microscope and an ultrasonic cleaner. For the microscope, I do recommend uh, using a stereo microscope with at least three times continuous zoom. Um, an optional equipment to have will be a food dehydrator. I only use food dehydrator to make the printhead um, dry much faster. So uh, these are the tools that I am using. The brush should be the softest brush that you can find. Um, this is a makeup brush right here. Um, this one right here is also um, a watercolor brush. Um, there were times that I am using a human hair. I am using human hair to, to clean individual nozzles. Uh, I also use razor blade um, to remove the nozzle blade from the nozzle. I also use 2000 grit sandpaper to, to remove all the adhesive. So for the chemicals, um, the chemicals that I am using are 99% um, isopropyl alcohol. Um, lacquer thinner, paint stripper. The paint stripper should be the fast acting one. Uh, I am using a gel type and a distilled water. So before we go and dive in on repairing a printhead, uh, we need to know the basic parts of a printhead. So this is a, I mean, this is this is the printhead ma manifold. Um, inside this manifold is a super fine filter. Um, the ink will be filtered out before entering the printhead going to the nozzles. This one right here is the rubber seal. So rubber seal is placed in between the manifold and the printhead. This one is the main printhead body. So the main printhead body is where um, the electronics and the nozzles of a printhead are located. So um, before we start, we need to be extra careful and take um, safety precautions. So, um, nozzle plate should be placed in a safe container. Um, nozzle plate should not be bent or be dented.
So that will be the first one. The second one will be um, nozzle individual partition uh, right here. So you need to be extra careful dealing with uh, nozzle partitions. Um, nozzle partitions are very brittle. So once it will be broken or broken, then the specific nozzle will not function properly. Um, the third one will be the plastic film partition. So this part is um, very important because this part separates the nozzle from the main body of the printhead. So once this plastic film uh, tears up, then the ink will be flooded to the other ink nozzles. Um, the fourth one will be the printed body or the printed main body. Uh, this is where the electronics are located. The circuit board and the socket should be dry before juicing to avoid a shorted, um, to avoid a shorted printed. Okay, so uh, let's go to the first step. The first step will be the preparation. Um, preparation is very uh, important. This part is way more important than the bonding itself. So without proper preparation, you cannot repair a printhead. Um, first preparation will be the cleaning of printhead. So in cleaning, uh, we need to understand and determine which part of the nozzle needs cleaning. So parts that need cleaning are the nozzle plate, uh, individual nozzles, and the surfaces that the adhesive will be applied to. So this is how I do clean uh, the printhead. Uh, particularly the nozzles. So I will I will show how I uh, do apply um, the paint stripper. Uh, I I'm using a paint stripper because um, I I tried a bunch of like chemicals to um remove um the ink um as far as i i i i uh experimented the only chemical that can easily dissolve a dtf ink is a paint stripper that's why that's why um that's that's why that's what I'm using so um most of the time um it will only take uh around ten seconds or or thirty seconds to like dissolve a dry DTF ink. But there are some cases that you need to like apply the paint stripper like more than three times, maybe five times in order for, for you to remove the ink. So what I usually do is I, I apply a paint stripper, use a brush, then um, after like applying the paint stripper, so uh, like I'll wait for 10 to 30 seconds, and then I will wash the paint stripper using a lacquer thinner. Then 
after that i will clean the the print head um in 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 a in an ultrasonic cleaner just to wash off um the paint stripper completely and then i will do check again the, the nozzles so if there will be there were, will be uh still a dried ink then i will be um doing doing it again up until um the the nozzle will be completely clean so like once you are done cleaning the nozzle uh we need to make sure that the print head will be dry so take note the print head should be moist free before applying um the adhesive um moist will affect the bonding of the nozzle plate so um i am using a food dehydrator uh, just to make sure or just to, to make the drying faster um the temperature of the food dehydrator uh it will be between 60 to 62 uh degree celsius and i will leave it for like 24 hours so after that once the printhead is completely dry then that's the time that i will be preparing to apply the bonding compound or the adhesive so um anyway before like applying the adhesive uh we need to align the nozzle plate first so i do align the nozzle plate first be before applying the adhesive um this is to avoid some problems particularly um, adhesive going to the nozzles uh, this way will also prevent you from misalignment it will also make um, lesser time to align the nozzle plate instead of like placing the nozzle plate after applying the adhesive so um, i made a jig um this is a block block that, that i made um the block should be slightly lower than the print head so um this will be glued to the side of the print head then after gluing then i will be placing the nozzle plate or after gluing then i will place the nozzle plate so i will use a tape uh, a clear tape so i will stick the nozzle plate to the tape then align then align the nozzle plate to the print head um so so uh, once you already aligned the nozzle plate uh, you need to make sure it is completely aligned then that's the time that you can prepare to uh, apply the adhesive this is the bonding um adhesive or binding compound that i am using um I have tried a bunch of adhesives before, um, but this is like the only adhesive that really works for me. Um, I discovered this from a friend of mine who repairs um, hearing aids. Um, he, he uses this to isolate the inner diaphragm 
and other parts of the hearing aid. Um, comparing to the to the adhesive that I bought from someone in China before, um, this adhesive is way more affordable than what they are selling. Um, the adhesive that they are selling costs two hundred fifty dollars, and this one only cost around $29. And the good thing is you can use this adhesive for like 50 or more times to repair, repair a um, print head. So anyway, um, to mix this adhesive, so you need to have a weighing scale that can weigh grams. Uh, the ratio of this adhesive is one is to one. So I usually have uh, like 0 0.15 grams per part. So this weight is already sufficient to cover all the necessary parts of the nozzle. So you will be mixing this for like uh, a minute or two. Um, the working time of this adhesive is like is <clears throat> the working time of this adhesive is sixty minutes. Um, once you're done applying the adhesive, it is very very important that you need to wait for one hour and 30 minutes before placing the nozzle plate. Uh, once you place the nozzle plate, uh, you need to place an object or you need to, to like place an object that has a flat, flat surface. The weight should be, I mean, the weight of the object should be around 300 to 350 grams. So uh, once you're already done with the procedure, the bonding and the placement of the nozzle plate. So we will now go to the curing, curing time. So the the min minimum curing time is seventy two hours. But what I usually do after like seventy two hours uh, is I will be placing the printhead inside the food dehydrator for for twenty four hours. Uh, the temperature will be like sixty degrees Celsius. Then um, once 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 done, so I will be testing the printhead and the printer. These are the the places that need adhesive. As as you can see, there is a drawn red marking. That red marking is where the adhesive will be applied um, for the nozzle part um, the nozzle part is the most um, time consuming when applying adhesive so you so uh, as you can see um, there is also drawn drawn uh, red marking so you need to cover those parts uh, then just apply the adhesive um, evenly. Um, if you are like wondering how I uh, concluded where the adhesive will be applied, um, I investigated the printed before. Um, I, I sanded some parts of the printed. So as you can see, um, 
the surface of the sanded part became flat. So it is very obvious that the only part of the printhead that should not have an adhesive should be the nozzles. So you need to be careful not to apply adhesive to the nozzle to, to avoid problems. So like once you are done applying the adhesive, um, you need to wait for at least an hour and 30 minutes before placing the nozzle plate. Once you place the nozzle plate, uh, you need to place an object that has a flat surface. The weight of the object should be around 300 to 350 grams. Then after that, you need to wait for at least 72 hours. And after uh, the curing or after curing the printhead, then that's the time that you can test the printhead. Just a heads up, uh, you will be having a bunch of trial, trial and errors. So you will be having a lot of attempts but once you have successfully repaired a printhead, um, next repairs will be easier for you since you already know the steps. So, um, to su summarize the steps, steps will be first will be the preparation, preparation on cleaning and drying. Second will be the nozzle plate alignment. Third is the adhesive placement. Fourth is the nozzle plate placement. Fifth will be the curing stage. And the last step will be the testing of the printhead. So um, I think that will be all. Um, Hopefully, I was able to help you with your research and studies. So, yeah, um, please do like, share, and uh, subscribe for more videos in the future. Um, I will be making a bunch of videos in the future. I will, I will also do uh, um, a lot of um, experiments so thank you so much for 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 watching the videos or watching the video and see you in the next video that's all for today goodbye